Uh, welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to Summoner's Rift. On the bottom side, we have Pigs Might Fight, wearing the blue health bars in this game. Uh, in the top lane will be Rembones playing Shen. They're actually just going to all meet in mid lane, so we might not get time for introductions. <laughs> Look at all those masters. <laughs> There's the cowbell. That's what we needed. This is great. Look at these guys go. Oh, the auto-attack. All right, Ari wins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you were playing League back then, but there was a famous MLG uh, final between Curse and Dignitas where they started with an ARM. Mm -hmm. Oh um, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I've, been, <laughs> I've been around since since season one. I was I was around when Tiesta moved into the streaming house and Reginald and Chaos were having a, a like an argument about who was more popular and so reggie was like hey whoever's listening to my stream add me on facebook i'll add you for real and so i became friends with reginald um and for uh, like on facebook like the, the back in the rain man days like yeah but no i remember that what didn't they get in trouble for that yeah they, they, they got fined all of their prize money oh, okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so back to introductions uh yeah. in the top lane shen play uh Shen will be played by Rembones. In the jungle, playing Sejuania Scrambles. Mid lane on the Corky is Renji. And in the bot lane, Eggplant, Sautin, Himana will be playing Tristana Alistar. And on the red side, wearing the red health bars. <laughs> it is Nova Star Gaming. Sebus the Edgelord will be playing Trundle in the top lane. Uh, in jungle, Madog2796 will be playing <laughs> Jarvan. Yeah. Uh, Fargo in mid lane playing Ari and the Twitch Janna combo uh, popularized by Nictorious and Zintheros. Yeah, f dude, feel free to talk as much as you want. This <laughs> my throat is not is not happy today, so by all means, say say all the things you need to say. <laughs> um, I, that that was it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm done. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Already, you can see this, the clear speed difference between Jarvan and Sejuani. Mm -hmm. uh, Sejuani's already on uh, her blue buff, whereas Jarvan's just now making it over to his red side jungle. Um, it does... It, it's just kind of a rough matchup in the jungle, honestly, for Jarvan. It, it leads a lot to, to invades, to getting counter ganked super easily. Uh, it, it's always interesting to see... On the slower clear champions, do you have a plan to circumvent that, or is it is it something where you just kind of walk into the Sejuani at every available occasion? Or the Sejuani walks into you, so she's going to meet at the red buff. Uh, I don't see this going well at all for Jarvan. There's the knockup. Yeah, Scrambles is on him, gets the passive applied. We're apparently not going to watch it because we're going bot lane for the <laughs> over I said, but I love... Oh, there's a collapse keeping it on directed camera, but yeah, we're going to have a scrap in the jungle, uh, whether we get to see it or not. Fargo oh. misses the charm onto Renji, but does hit the Orb of Deception. Renji's already blown the uh, the Valkyrie, so he's out. Madog comes over the wall. <gasps> the Jukes. <laughs> Scrambles trying to apply the passive stacks. Oh. The Taunt comes in from Rambones, getting into that... Oh my goodness. <laughs> the Ignites come so, both ways, so Renji's going to survive. see other people in chat saying, oh, Corky took Ignite, GG, and there, there's Corky getting first blood because of it. That was... It, was that a clown fiesta? Do we consider that a clown fiesta? I don't think so. The, a lot of the skill shots actually hit. It wasn't... Yeah. It wasn't super messy, but it was kind of a weird... It, it's a weird decision to try to defend the invade uh, for Nova Star When both of your lanes, we saw Corky and Shen get the early shove. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were able to respond first. And then the collapse... The collapse from Red Team was almost after in their own jungle. And it's just this kind of... It's not the right decision at that point to try to defend it. You just kind of give up the camp to Sejuani. Especially when she comes in having double buffs. You know, Jarvan took his time getting a lot of the creeps on the way there and was the same level but behind on buffs. And yeah, you're right. Like when, when it's that kind of situation, backing off is is okay. Not giving over first blood is is very okay. <laughs> yeah, and already Corky comes back with the Sheen into lane. Mm. Double Dorans is, is pretty sustainy from Fargo. I, I like the choice to go with the the two starter items uh, in this game just to try to to keep it even, at least for now. Zinthros gets caught by Headbutt Pulverize. This is oh, the stun. pretty split up. The, the stun comes through from Himana, but they're not going to be able to finish anybody off. A lot of summoner spells being traded. 
Um, gosh, the non-LCS order kind of messes me up. Just yeah, it does a little bit. But I uh, wish you but, could reorder I mean, the faces, at least. We see pigs. They didn't use any of their sums on that. We did see both the exhaust and heal being blown out for the side of Novasar's bot lane. So, I mean, if that Alasar keeps doing what he's been doing and just getting those engages, uh, I think that's definitely just going to keep snowballing in their direction. Yeah, and Alistar has the, the easier time creating traits anyway. Yep, there he goes. Headbutt pulverize onto Nictorious. That's a good tornado to knock Eggplants out out of the out of the uh, the rocket jump. Now Nictorious has taken pretty low. He's forced to flash away. Burning down. Zinthros is taken pretty low too. He has his flash available, choosing not to burn it just there. Yeah, Zinth's trying to do what he can with it. Oh, good taunt. Oh, that's a really good taunt. Actually. And Rembones wow. is going to pick up that ki the solo kill in top lane. I don't know what to say with that. I mean, the the Chundle was doing a good job of like trying to harass and trying to push in that Shen, but that's just kind of the classic classic move of a Shen. Like, I'm going to taunt you underneath tower, and I don't know. There's not a whole lot to say to that. That was just a good play by Shen. And now burning the teleport uh, to get back to top lane uh, for Trundle means that Shin has effectively a two teleport advantage with uh, Stand yeah. United. He can go bot lane and come back without losing a wave of minions. And that's that can be gigantic. It looks like he's going to go home. He'll probably use teleport to come back and then still have Stand United available. But it's if they're keeping track of that cooldown, oh, they can not. really abuse it. <laughs> oh... All right, good job, good job, Alistar. Good job, Mana, making sure that it's being a troll. <laughs> so now I'm interested to see... We haven't seen a whole lot of jungle pressure, honestly, other than collapsing on, mm -hmm. on each other. The dragon is an earth dragon. It's a fairly important dragon to control. Which team do you think is in a better spot to set up for that right now? I'm thinking... Actually, oh, wait, Charm, Charm lands, more yeah. Knights are back up. Spirit Rush Both comes Charms. out trying to do the damage. Oh, he actually flashes oh. away from the last Spirit Rush damage and takes it with the auto attack. The kill going over to Renji in the mid lane. I think Ari, like, dashing away on that, definitely, I mean, made sure that she wasn't going to get any more damage on that. So quick fingers by Corky, making sure that um, he came out alive again, again with the Ignite. And the Ignite kept pulling through again. So um, this Corky definitely is accelerating to that trinity force i mean way quicker than anyone would want to although freak is pretty happy about that now headbutt pulverizing the bot lane onto both of them oh, stunned up underneath aggression. the explosive shot that's a huge amount of damage but eggplant shot takes a power oh. shot victorious is still able to flash in from Hamana. he gets the stand united available the tornado knocks oh. him up but he's gonna get away <laughs> imagine though if that sh if that stand united actually came out on tristana like that would have been so good for them because your son would have been able to get the kill and jump right back out but uh, yeah, a great the, jump from the Nick whole issue just there. just like one pixel too far in from eggplant mm -hmm. which just took that one tower shot that basically affected that trade because it was a super uh it was a super great setup with the headbutt pulverize right into the the east stun that i don't know the name of off my, the top of my head and he had the fully charged explosive shot now we get oh, the corky. the package comes in top lane and sebus is dead again dead again but did get that first tower so um i don't know if that's what you type in all chat worth whether it really was or not just to get your point across but <laughs> um now shin is down the teleport as he got back up there and um, i'm wondering if they'll be able to actually get this down or not yeah and we see really no answer from nova star you lose your top laner you don't send your really weak jungler to top uh... laner. this seems like a little bit of an overstep, and Renji's going to pick up his fourth kill <laughs> of the game for free, essentially. Huh. Fargo and Scrambles are trading in mid lane. Ultimate from Sejuani's used, but he's run out of burst, essentially. Uh, and the tower goes down in trade, so Pigs might fight up six kills to one early on here. Channel getting taunted up. Another another overstep. Yeah, and Renji's still there. The, the Channel ultimate buys a little bit of time, but... They're just using resource. They're funneling resources into this top lane as it's just collapsing around them, and it's it's not where their advantage is going to be. Their advantage is going to be <laughs> in the bot lane, uh, and, and they really need to find a way to make a play to get their bot lane ahead. 
And yeah, and, and I think just another thing is just to stop dying. I mean, I know that seems like hashtag Korean advice, but like that's just really is... I mean, how you're going to be able to just contain a game is you just stop taking the small little risks they don't need to take. Yeah, you have, I mean, that, you have that snowball already building. You need to find a way to, to slow it down and get yourself some time to scale. Yeah, just get out of the way of that giant snowball. Like, don't try to stand there and catch it. Like, you're just going to be balled up inside of it. And that's what happened. We saw the Jarvan go up there, go in one at a time. And then we saw the Trundle go in there one at a time. And um, maybe this Jarvan's going to look to try to see if they can take your advice and get the spot lane going a little bit. But we'll see. No, okay, just kidding. Because the John is now caught out. Yeah, they, they're assuming Ooh. that they were out doing Dragon. That's a nice... Uh, God. Good monsoon. Monsoon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a good monsoon to, to buy time. <laughs> um, and it prints out takes a takes a little bit of a damage in exchange, but now we finally see that roam toward bot lane. This is what you need to see from Ari anyway. Uh, and I do like this. They have right now they have better wards around the the dragon pit, so they feel a little bit more comfortable going with this. Uh, Stand United is available for Shen though. And this could turn around in just a second. Uh oh. There is that Sand United. And the explosive shot onto Zentros is going to pick up one kill. Eggplant picks that one up. Have we decided if it's Madog or Mdog? Is, I is think there an Madog official word on that? I think Madog sounds the best, dude. Madog, That's okay. <laughs> he's, he's, he's my dog. <laughs> I feel that. The, the Earth Dragon, the Rocky Dragon, goes over to. Um, to pigs might fight as they pick up that first one of the game up eight kills to one now uh still only about a 1500 gold lead that first tower uh counts for quite a bit and uh Sebus is trying to get that second one um rimbones is pretty strong i'm still not sure Ooh, who wins damage. in a straight up fight oh yeah renji's damage <laughs> coming oh, through the goodness. trinity force procs onto fargo it's gonna have him pinned under tower now And the Rift Herald going to be summoned. Oh, bot. In bot lane. This <laughs> throws almost stunned up under tower. Uh, Himana actually is going to flash away. This should be a tower pickup. And we'll see if they can push it into the second one. Uh, Nova Star's collapsing a little bit. Oh, Renji's going to flash right. over the wall. The charm lands for Fargo. Everybody's oh. sticking down. Is this the trade? It oh, is. The last tick of Ignite tick. takes him down. Last tick. <laughs> That was ballsy. I mean, that's crazy um, just to flash over like that. But um, Fargo, I feel like, finally caught a break. I feel like he would have been... I think if he, he might already be a little tilted, and I feel like that, that would have tilted me over the face of the Earth because um, the Earth is flat, and we all know that. But that would have tilted me so hard if I would not have gotten that kill back after he flashed on me. But I really like the way that Pigs Might Fight is playing the map right now. Um, mm -hmm. Rembones has teleport up, not stand united, but uh, is available to join his team up split pushing in that, that top lane. They know they have a really strong Corky. I wouldn't mind even seeing Corky go bot lane and just trying to set up a 1-3-1. One, one. You could set up a 4-1 even with Corky in mid, uh, but they have sieging tools, although the explosive shot's going to be placed onto Trundle. I don't know about this fight in particular, wow. as Sebus picks up a kill. Jarvan Jacuzzi comes out, but it's not going to matter. The Ratatat coming through does do quite a bit of damage, but Himana is a tanky cow with that ultimate on. Now Sebus still fighting through. His ultimate's already been burned. Oh, that uh, Subjugation, I think is the name of the ultimate. Oh, yeah, you're Flash right. Flashtop oh. comes through with Rembones. He's going to pick up the kill. Now Fargo's in the mix. <laughs> uh, Eggplant flashes out of his <laughs> own uh, rocket jump. The jukes. <laughs> Just wanted to juke people. Flash comes oh, through for Fargo. He lands it over Deception into the auto attack. He's going to pick up the kill. Now chasing down Himana. What can the cow do? Where's the cow jukes? Stun. Lands the stun. Oh, he gets the Stand United on top of him. It's going to be the full channel. No. Renji comes in on the Valkyrie, but the Monsoon's available. Going to heal up the members of Nova Star, and the fight just continues as Rembone's trying to clean up Victorious. It's not going to happen. The Sejuani ult comes in from the side to stun up Zinthros, but that just doesn't doesn't matter at all. No. That was a pretty long, drawn-out fight, and so huge props coming in from No Star Gaming. Um, it almost looked like they were overstepping, but I love the fact that they 
we're just going to sit back and let things happen and just slowly lose the game. Like this is the, that's a sign of a team who wants to make sure that they take every opportunity they can to win. Because if you just sit around when you're down like that, like you're just going to eventually lose. And so now we see them being up on gold um, after they're getting all these towers. So great job from Nosar Gaming. And um, I'm happy that we don't have to start talking about, I don't know, just random things because this game is actually back on track. Yeah, and getting knocking two towers down. They have all the outer turrets down now. Uh, and this is always this is always the difficult part for for golden platinum teams, in my experience. Is where do you go after the outer towers are down? Scrambles and Cetus are, are fighting. Zithros <laughs> gets knocked in with the headbutt. Two of them together, and Eggplant's just going to town on him. He's gonna pick up his second kill of the game. Sebus is going to use the Blast Cone right into Renji. The Subjugation comes down, the Pillar trying to slow him up, but he Valkyries over, getting the Rocket Shot, but it's not going to be enough to pick up the kill. So you, you mentioned that people don't usually know where to go after they get some towers, and I feel like one of the answers is to just not go in the enemy jungle without the proper vision, because they were able to just kind of walk behind both of them, and there was four people there, so... Uh, uh, they made a good play, and then they kind of lost that because now the gold is practically even. So um, we're looking. I think I would have to say that Pigs is probably back in control, kind of the tempo of the game after that play. Yeah, and you've got to feel with that the big spike, the the Trinity Force power spike for Corky, and uh, Tristana should be finishing up uh, her first item soon. Although compared to Infinity Edge Twitch, we could see Nictoria start to get some picks here. With the Infinity Edge Zeal combo. Well, and, and I mean, if you come up onto that Shen and make sure that you have good pillar and good slow from everything, um, you really might be able to make that worth it with a Twitch because that Shen really isn't building very tanky. Definitely doesn't have a whole lot of um, armor to his name. Let me see here. Um, yeah, it looks like just 90 armor. It doesn't look like he has very much to actually hold up if that Twitch does position right and get ahead of him. Um, they really could make that work. And, uh, Worth noting, Scrambles takes his own blue buff. Not not the slave. Not going to give that to the mid laner. i got to keep that for myself. <laughs> are they going to do it? Are they going to collapse on this ninja? Looks like they are. The dog and Sebus behind Rembones. Going to get the the flag and drag right into the Jarvan Jacuzzi. That is a weird shape that that has come off on, on the side of the wall. Uh, a lot of ultimates burned, but Rembones does go down. Fargo, Fargo doesn't afraid. hit the charm. And, oh, does dodge the uh, Sejuani oh! ultimate, but the knockup connects. Do they have enough chasing power now? Flash comes through for Renji, both ignites oh, come the through charm. in the trade. Himana goes in with the oh, <laughs> with the fair. headbutt, but thinks better of it and has to flash away <laughs> for his trouble. <laughs> thinks better of it after, after he made a mistake. He's a tanky man, but he's not defending this 2v4. Ooh. And now Sebus is able to get on Eggplant. He does use the, the Buster Shot to knock him away. This fight is... There's a lot of movement abilities in these fights. People <laughs> just fly in everywhere. Rembones gets knocked back by the Pillar. Nictorious chipping away on him. He picked up that last kill, trying to get another one. Madog comes in on the flag, but uh, isn't able to actually connect on any crowd control. Zinthros just throws the Zephyr out to try to slow somebody down. Look, I contributed. I'm Janna. And they're going to back away. I did damage. Look at me. <laughs> Corky looking to find oh, people to Lindy, He's got the package, too. He could... Do it. This is Do one it. of those moments... Do it. He has all the power. He could get a pentakill, or he could die immediately. And we're going to find out as Do soon it. as he hits W. <laughs> there he goes. Straight there through. Knocks back Madog and Sebus. Uh, trying to fight it out. He does dodge the charm back with the second Valkyrie. He does pick up one kill on the edgelord. Nice. The big one. Scrambles now trying to chase down Madog. Fargo oh, gets Fargo. flash taunted by Rembones. He does still have Spirit Rush available, oh. so he's going to pick up the counter kill. <laughs> now uh, Twitch tries to get involved, and he's like, ah, oh, that's three tanks. That's that's a lot of dudes. So he's going to flash away. <laughs> so Do, Did we get a kill counter on that on that team fight? Um, I think it was three for three, but I'm not 100% sure. And well, Clint's just like going to knock down the tower. <laughs> I almost don't know if that counts all the time, all the way. The extra tower does go over to Pig's Might fight, uh, so, but they're still trailing in gold. They're gonna go try to pick up the uh, the Vape Dragon. Is there is there a word for like just below Clown Fiesta? Because I don't think it's quite a Clown Fiesta, but it's it's 
in it's enthusiastic like that i don't know like it's, it's really close how they're playing oh yeah yeah god they are playing catch they keep throwing the ball to each other yeah and the game yeah, of throws you either their win. dads are really proud of how well they can throw at this <laughs> point in the game of throws you either lose <laughs> or die i'm not 100 percent sure on how that plays out uh Zintheros goes in a little bit too far is Gina, oh, you don't normally one. see the enemy team on your screen when you're playing, so it's... He, he's been like a battle <laughs> Janna. Uh, you're too far You're too far back. <laughs> but now Rimbones is going to oh. taunt up the Trundle. Rindy contributing damage, set us able to subjugate and get his health back. Fargo comes in over the wall with the Spirit Rush, finds charm. a charm on the Shen. I don't know that that's the target they necessarily want. Big headbutt pulverize onto three with the Monsoon to disengage. Madog is in by himself, gonna throw down the ultimate, but it's not gonna matter. Renji and Eggplant are trapped away from the fight in the Jarvan pit, not able to contribute right now, but the tanks are still fighting. Another charm lands, that one's on Renji. That does a lot of damage as Fargo able to connect with something. And uh, it's a one for one. No, it's a one for zero, even. <laughs> in favor of yeah. Pixmite fight. Well, and both these teams are rubber banding so much. Oh, they're going to go on it. Himana gets the double knockup. Oh, so right on much the Fargo tries to flash away, but he's taken down by Himana. <laughs> now there's only three members left for Nova Star as they're forced to retreat. Wow. I mean, both teams just not afraid to continually butt heads and... Um, I mean, you can see like some good communication. It seems like they're all following the same plan. Sometimes the plan isn't the correct one, like let's just keep running forward without making sure that we're not going to get flanked off to the side. But I mean, it seems like everyone is engaging, disengaging as a team, and this is this is pretty great to be able to see both these teams at the beginning of the season have this type of coordination um, to try to do this. And again, whether or not they're doing the right things is is another story, but at least they're doing it together. And this is actually an interesting point that the chat's talking about right now. Which team do you think scales harder? Do you I mean, think I, it's the team with 280 carries that's that are both a little bit ahead right now, or do you think it's the team with Arden Sensor? I, I think it comes. I think it comes to um, pigs with the the Tristana. Once you're able to, if they get any type of out movement or type of play, they can take down a tower so fast. And I think those tanks just get too beefy. Yeah. Um, especially against the Ari. I don't think the Ari or Jarvan's going to really be doing much if they if, if it goes too much longer. I, I hear that, but also one team has an Ardent Sensor and the other one doesn't. That is true. <laughs> and usually you can count who has most Ardent Sensors on the team and just give them the trophy at the end of the game. So Don't underestimate the Twitch. I mean, again, if the Twitch can like get some picks and if they can make the game... If they can make pigs not team fight, then I think they win. But Zithros they gets this. caught a little bit again. Sebus is at the front of this fight, and everybody's kind of oh, really split Ray. for Pig's fight fight. This rat attack comes through and just oh my goodness. eviscerates them. Fargo picks up one kill, Sebus picks up the other, and now the push coming in for Nova Star, they're going to take the gold lead right back. Well, I mean, there goes a lot of people getting shut down. Um, that Ari Fargo um, coming in as a sub, but not afraid to go deep, and he went way underneath the tower to make sure another charm, like charm and damage. Yeah, Renji is oh. just gone. Nictorious picks up that kill. He only put one auto attack down, and Himana doesn't have much hope there. Double kill picked up for Nictorious. He's up to five and one now on that Twitch. It was a quiet start. Yeah. But I, I mentioned I undefeated on him last season. And as Chat's pointing out, Quirky was, I, I want to say, 5-0 and or 6-0, and and now he's back to 9-5. and Yeah, and his farm has not really gone up much at all. Um, it's just kind of hovering around that low 100 now up to almost 150. So, um, And this is what we were talking about, though. Like, How, how is a team that's going to get outscaled? Um, well, minus our sensor, because that completely you know, tips it in their favor. But they caught out... Uh, well, I guess they almost got caught out. They baited them. We'll say it that way. We'll say Zinthros completely <laughs> baited when he got hit up by that that uh, Alistar. But when that fight happened, I mean, there's just no support for that Tristana. They can have all the tanks in the world, but if they're not there to do anything about it, then Trist is just going to get blown up. Yeah, and and Ari definitely did most of the damage in that fight. Uh, you're you're completely right, Godvin. But uh, Nictorious got that all important last auto attack. <laughs> 
fucking oh, going Charmander over the wall with Spirit Lash doesn't land the charm, though. So Ultimate's going to go on cooldown. But but gets the flash out of the Alistar, which is huge on the engage. Ooh, that was a good tornado that to was. negate the... I guess Zinthros probably plays like this normally, you know, has to get used to to be in the battle jam. you uh -oh. got to get good at those split reactions. Charm's going to land on Himana. That's not really the target you want. Madog comes in, does land the two-person Cataclysm, but Renji able to Valkyrie away. Madog's taken pretty low. Soon. A lot of ultimates just flying everywhere. Uh, Nova Star has to group up at the back now, trying to push forward after picking up two kills. Flag and Drag trying to come through. Doesn't connect onto anybody. Scrambles and Rembone's going to just limp back to the fountain, though, after three members have gone down. And we have to give... Zinthro's MVP of that last fight, being able to protect that Jarvan and keep him alive, both with the Monsoon. Again, not just not to try to push people away, but to just give him the heal, and then threw down the Ardent or the uh, the Redemption to make sure he could pick up that last bit of health to stay alive in the fight. Um, great job from him, making sure they controlled the fight and controlled who was alive. And now the Earth Dragon making its point, uh, its presence known as they start to burst down these Nexus towers. That One tornado. last stand here for. Uh, no, uh, pigs might fight, but yeah, that was a great tornado from Zentheros. Oh, uh, is Tristana going to get this? Is Tristana going to pop off on this? Fargo Where's tries to dash in? away. There's the jump in from Eggplant. And Fargo's oh. actually going to clean him up. Double kill now for Fargo as he flashes back over the wall. Renji and Sebus now. The two combatants left. Gets taunt up by Renbones. But it's not going to matter as wow. Trundle chomps him down. Everybody's dead now for another 20 seconds. That's going to be the end of game number one. As Novastar takes it in a really bloody, <laughs> really bloody game number one. 43 kills in 27 minutes. And the victorious Twitch remains undefeated. Yeah, GG to everybody there. That was, I mean, like a boxing match where they came out just swinging for the fences right away. Um, and, I mean, we both were wrong. I did not, I really did not expect the game to, I don't know, end like that. You know, I was, I was expecting a little more control out of both sides. And um, great job from Novastar. I mean, they almost they almost were thriving off that chaos it seemed like yeah it's interesting normally in the in the first games you see both teams come out really nervous to scrap and trying to mm -hmm. make they tend to check off of aggressive calls i mean we saw we saw quirky try to flash in over a wall <laughs> on a on a owen three ari yeah <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to pull up the damage charts because I just want to see what we have going on here. That Ari, man, I'm surprised. Like, Fargo did so good on the Ari with that, with coming through. Just, yeah, you're right. She was 0 3, wasn't she? And then just kind of kept going even in the fights. And the next thing you know, she's just dashing around doing so much damage. One call out I will make Renji got very ahead on that quirky early on mm -hmm. where was the hex drinker well and where was the hex drinker and where was the package use we saw him use the package to top lane that one time but we didn't really see any other package use that was with the rest of the team to catch anyone out either so there seems this there was just kind of a lot of mm, non-synergy i don't know what word i'm thinking of they were just discombobulated a little bit between all the teams But yeah, so that was that was game one, um, and we'll be moving to. It's still best of three, right? We're yep. still having best of threes. All right, just making sure, making sure that hasn't changed on me. Ooh, look at that, Jana almost doing as much damage as the Jarvan, though. But Jarvan did go like super supportive. I like that going in for. Um, going in for the LCS build, the Ice uh... Armor or Nice Vow rather. Pretty good. Alright, well. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Hopefully it'll get us invited here in the next one, but... Um, oh, it's so live. I just feel like mid-game was a bit lost, unsure how to go anywhere. I would totally agree. Would you agree with that? That just mid-game, it seemed like it was just all over the place? Yeah, it was kind of weird. Neither team really played to what their composition did instead they just wanted to fight each other which i respect <laughs> completely but it, mm -hmm. it isn't what either team was really built to do 
Um, I just got told that they're taking just, they'll have a couple moments of their break and they should invite us in. All right, so the classic, what should what should each team do differently here? So, um, looking at um, let's just go with the, let's just go with um, Nova Star here at the beginning. What do you think they should do looking into this next game? Anything change with picks and bans? I mean, because they get their one ban back, they lost they lost a ban. Yeah, I I don't know that they need to do a whole lot differently. Maybe try not to get behind in mid lane early uh i think you can you can execute a better early game jungle route and try to to protect against the inevitable clash in mid lane uh but that would be yeah in the the early game jungle um they actually did need to far be it for me to say but they needed to check down from a fight in their own jungle mm -hmm. um really early on uh i think letting that go next time would allow them a little bit cleaner access to to mid and late game but um but in Sco, they lost the band the first match because they showed the team showed up late um so the rules are for if you're five minutes late you lose the uh your first band is lost if you're 10 minutes late your first three bands are lost if you're 15 minutes late you lose the game if you're 22 if you're 25 minutes which is basically a no show that's an entire match lost um and i mean we granted we did get started a little bit late because we were um getting everything figured out for um um like just get everything set for the stream but yeah they came in they only had four guys and so they subbed in fargo let me see what he asked how was vision scores I don't know what that means. Oh, I can pull it up. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking in my own match history, though. Do I have anyone <laughs> from either of the teams? Anyway? Vision scores. Um, it looks like... Here, I've got it. Uh, wow, Alistar with 32 wards placed down. So, I mean, they tried their best to really make sure that they got their wards out for everything. Um, or do I? It... I actually clicked out of it, and now it's not in... So, so I have it pulled up here. So we have um, four pigs. Alistar with 32, Sejuani with 22, Wards placed, Shen with 17, and then Trist and Corky both had like 12 and 11, respectfully. Um, they didn't have a whole lot of Wards killed on their side, but I mean, if you were to look just at the vision numbers here, you would most likely try to give the game to Nova or not Nova Star to pigs because they just had should have had more control of everything. So, uh, hopefully we get an invite here pretty soon. So we talked about Nova Star a little bit. Um, I up in the chat, I saw someone made a good point. Otzo made a good point, saying um, so that it was when they got um, they they won a team fight, right? And then they yeah they won a big team fight. They got two towers, and then they kind of stayed in the jungle. They didn't reset. They didn't try to um, move back around a little bit. Let's see if they can get you invited. Oops. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, they just hung out in the jungle a little bit. So, I mean, while Novasar are sure they won that, they definitely were not winning that early in mid, and a lot of that was just purely from decision-making. Like what you said, they chose the fight in the jungle when they were down a little bit. Um, they chose to... Uh, stick around after they got some towers, and so I think if they make sure that they, um, uh, oh, gotta get you, gotta get you invite, man. I got my people to show the game to, maybe. <laughs> um, no, they don't lose first ban. 